welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jo and I help creators with freelancing, passive income and tech. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can sell and create a course on a tool called System.io. I have tried so many different platforms for creating and selling courses and System.io is my all time favorite. And that's for a few reasons. It's extremely simple. The drag and drop functionality is insane and it's really intuitive. You can host videos, you can build landing pages, you can create a website, you can create webinars, you can drip feed content and just so much more. I really think that system.io's motto of being an all-in-one platform really comes to the party. And when you're looking to create and sell online courses, having one tool that does it all really makes your life so much easier. Before we dive into the video, I just want to let you know that I've put any resources in the comment section below of the video, so definitely check those out. And if you find my content useful today, please make sure you like and subscribe so I can keep creating more for you. So the first thing that I recommend when you're creating your course is actually to start with a Google Doc. Now, this is a great part of planning, and I always think that planning and doing all the upwork front saves you so much time later on. So I would open up a Google Doc and I would put in your course name. And I would format this so it's really easy to, you know, read and copy and paste because that's what we're going to be doing later. So I'm going to make that heading one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have your module. So your module name, whatever that's going to be. So I'm going to make that a heading two. And then underneath that, I'm going to have all of the text. So I'm just going to copy and paste some fake text for now or some placeholder text. Now inside here, if you've got any links that you need to put or anything like that, then I would put them here as well. So again, it's easy to copy and paste. Now, something that I also like to do as well is just put in brackets, you know, um, video because some of them are going to have videos and some of them aren't going to have videos. Would help if I spelled it right. And that's just so that I know that, um, you know, this is going to be the like layout and the structure of the course of what we're actually going to put inside system.io. It also makes it really easy if you're working with anybody else, you can collaborate in Google Docs and you can insert anything. They can make comments, all that kind of stuff. So that's why I highly recommend that you start inside Google Docs before you even jump into system.io. If you have any resources as well, like PDFs or workbooks or anything like that, then I would also, you know, format it as to where you're going to put them. So let's just say you're going to put a workbook down here, then I would put download. Oh, my typing is terrible today. And then I would also link it as well, just so you know exactly what's going to happen and where everything is going to be. Okay, so now let's jump on over to system.io and we are going to be setting up a template inside system.io so that you can copy it each time and you can make your course really easily. So we're going to grab all that stuff that we did in Google Docs and we'll put it over here. Okay, so you are going to come to products and courses and you are going to add a new course. So you're going to add in the course title, whatever the course title name is of course your name and you just go through and you fill out the details it's really good to make sure that like it's got no spelling mistakes and that you're really accurate in here because some of the information people will see the course domain you can keep it on a system.io domain if you want to that is completely free or if you've got your own custom domain you can do that as well um, i do recommend having your own custom domain because it just looks a little bit more professional and when you are updating the url path you just want it to be your course name so something really easy um, this is just so you can identify it really, really easily later on. And when you type in your URLs and things like that, it's just, it's simple. Now you can go and change the themes as well for how the course looks like in terms of colors and things like that. But I actually find the default theme is totally fine, but feel free to go through and have a look and see what they look like. And I always change the font to my brand font, which is Poppins. So I would do that there. Now, it is completely up to you if you want to upload a photo of you. You could also put a photo of your logo or anything like that if you don't want to put a photo of yourself. If you don't fill these out, nothing will show. Um, but it might be nice for people to see a face, so I would upload them into there, and that's really easy. You can just click to upload and upload whatever your profile picture is that you want to use.
<laughs> Ta-da, there I am. Okay, and logo and, of course, the course cover as well. And they give you the aspect ratios as well. So you can just copy that and put that into Canva and you can be able to do that. Now, we haven't got a sales page set up yet for that because we're just doing our setup of our sort of template and course like that. So we can come back to that later. And then all you need to do is click save. Okay, so we've created basically the course and you can see that the status is not live at the moment. So we're just gonna wanna click into the course name and this is where the setup really happens and it helps to set up the template. Okay, so you're gonna use that Google Doc and remember you're gonna add all those module names and things like that later on, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up that template. So first of all, you're going to add a module. Let's just say module one, whatever the name of the module is. Now to be able to, sometimes this makes it a little bit hard, but you have to click on the little down arrow and you have to add the lecture. So you add the lecture and this is what, you know, so you've got everything in Google Docs. You've got your module, which is at the top there, and then you've got your like actual lessons inside there. So lesson one, whatever the name of it is. So mainly I like to go for this template here because I just like the formatting of this one and I know I'm already going to do videos most of the time. So I'm just going to hit save there. Now, you can also change the access of course settings in here. So you can give people things immediately. That's the default setting, or you can do dripped content, but we're just gonna keep it on immediately, give them access for now. So inside the lesson, this is where we set up the template. So you use this module as your template. So what you need to do is spend time designing this exactly how you like it because you're gonna copy and paste the entire formatting of this later on. So the really cool thing about system.io is that with videos, you don't have to like put them on YouTube or use an external you know, video hosting platform, you can upload the videos right inside of system.io. And I find that that's much better because you're using their services. The videos load better. It's like heaps, you know, the, the, it's just so much better quality, like all that kind of stuff. And you don't have to rely on like, you know, connecting another third party service. And plus it just saves you money. <laughs> you don't have to do anything else. So you can upload your videos straight away in there. So I just wanted to point that out. So I would just go through and I would, you look at my Google Doc, what, what's how I sort of structured it. And I know that I've got the module name, the video, and I've got some text. So we're doing pretty well so far, I think, um, here. And if I really wanted to, I probably would want to change this to, you know, a different color. Maybe I want to go black. Um, and you can see that it comes with a whole bunch of other stuff, but like a lot of the time this template is good, but sometimes you want to just do a little bit of formatting, which you can easily do. I don't like to have the bullet points and core stuff. I like to just keep it as simple as possible because most of the time I do videos in the courses and I don't have too much text unless I have to. So you can just go ahead and delete things that you don't need. And if you want to put in, you know, it's the same with system.io. It always has this drag and drop feature, which is really good. Um, so you can grab a row and you can put it in. And then if you wanted to add, you know, three columns to make the columns like that. And then add in some images if you wanted to. Whatever it is that your, you know, course is going to be consistent of. or can, Whatever your course is going to be, you know, whatever it has in it. Okay, so this is going to be my template. So basically, I'm always going to have a video or an image. If I don't, it doesn't matter. You can always delete things later. But this is pretty much going to be the setup. I think I quite like that. So I am just going to save that. I'm going to exit out of there. So this is going to be, you know, the template that I use. So what you can do is in here, um, you just need to create all of your modules. So I would add another module. So we'll say it's module two. And then you can come here and you can duplicate that template. So this is where it saves you time. So you can confirm that and you can drag that into there. Sometimes it disappears, which is kind of annoying. So you just have to check that it's in there, but you can see that it's copied. So you just need to go through so you've got all the stuff on your Google Doc and all you need to do is go through and copy all that stuff into there. So then it makes it really streamlined and really easy.
Now, once you've got all of your content in there, you've uploaded your videos, you've got everything, your whole course is in there, it's probably gonna look something like this. Let me just show you a course that I've already got inside here. It's gonna look a little bit like this. So you can see all of these, you know, courses, that all, the, all the modules that I've got in here that I've uploaded, and they've got all sorts of stuff in them, which is really, really cool. But if you do it that way with a Google Docs and then making the template and copying it, it just saves you so much time. Okay, so now the next thing that we're gonna be doing is creating like a sales page funnel for your course, which with system.io is really handy and easy. So we are gonna hit create and you're just gonna name it whatever your course name is. Remember, you can use your own custom domain if you want to, or you can just stick with the system.io one. You're gonna be selling a product or a service. So you can click save and I'm gonna click on the funnel here. Now, what I'm actually gonna do is create a step in here. Now, what I recommend you do with this page is that I know it says order form and it has all these really simple things in here, but I suggest that you go on Pinterest and you look at sales pages for courses. So let's have a look at one that I've created. So this is one that I've created for a course and you can see that it looks completely different. This is why I kind of call it like a sales page, but also kind of like a funnel because you want to, you know, tell people all about your course. You want to tell them what it's going to help them do. And then you want them to be able to buy from that. You need to be able to, you know, like sell to them without you having to be there, but also they need to know the information. And a lot of the times I feel like depending on how expensive your course is or the different types of things that they're going to learn, you are going to need to write more stuff about it so that they can actually know what they're getting themselves into. So I've just come over to Pinterest and I've just Googled sales page designs for like a course and you can see that there are some really cool designs. So I would probably just look at some of them, even if they're not actually selling, you know, courses. And I would just look at the layouts and just see what they look like because design is so important when it comes to selling your courses. If it looks hacky and it looks cheap, then you're probably just going to attract those kinds of customers. You design for your customers. So let's select a template. I'm just going to select this one because it's just the one that I always select. And you can see that this actually right now says order form, but I'm going to change this to my sales page or my, my, yeah, my sales page. And I would probably put the course name. Again, always making sure my URLs would match whatever the course name is and always make sure to save. Oh, and my product is a digital product. I always do that. Okay, and we click save. Okay, so then the other thing that you're gonna to need to do is you're going to need to add the resource for this so that they can get access to the course. So you're just gonna click course and the course name. I called mine course name. <laughs> and you can, this is where you can choose whether you're giving them different types of access, whether it's full access, partial access, or drip content. But for today, we are gonna select full access. There are also different um, specifications here if you want to grant access on a specific date. So say, for example, you like, you know, only want them to be able to get access to the course on a Friday because you're doing like a countdown or whatever it is that you're doing in your marketing. And let's just say that you're only giving them access for like a year and then they have to pay again, anything like that. Or if your course is guaranteed to have them for life, then you just don't even need to change any of that. Okay, so then we need to select the pricing plan and I just like to keep it simple and choose the one-time payment for the course and that's what we're going to do today. So I've done that and uh, if you don't have a pricing plan already created, you're going to need to create a new one, which you just do by that. All of this information here it depends on whether it's displayed on the order form or on the dashboard, so whether you see it or your client sees it, so just make sure you're aware of that and you just add in a statement descriptor that will go into their invoices and things like that. So just make sure that it's like short, simple, and tells them exactly what it is. And then if, they, if you're gonna do a one-time payment, I'm just gonna load up one that I've already got um, before because I, if you, if you add in 
pricing into system.io for some reason i don't know why you cannot delete it again which is quite annoying but anyway that's cool so i am just going to choose a one-time payment and then i'm just going to select just a, a, a dummy one for now and i'm just going to click save and you really want to make sure that when you hit that save down there that you hit save up here if you don't do that none of it will save and you'll have to do it all over again it's kind of annoying Something else that's also really good to do is also to make sure that you always tag people when they come into your system.io and that's to make sure that you can like segment them really easily. So I would also add a tag as well. So I would choose the tag, um, whatever my course name was. So, you know, probably not that one, but um, it would probably be like bought this um bought this product bought this course and that's so you can easily do email marketing later on and if you don't know how to create tags it's really easy you just come up to contacts you hit tags and you just create the name of your tag there and then when you come back to here it'll come back down in this drop down list so once you have finished with those settings and you've done everything with editing your sales page, you're going to need to come to your thank you page and you're just going to need to edit that as well. So you just want to select the template, whichever one it is that you want to use. And this is just your thank you page for them, obviously ordering your course and buying your course. So you can make this whatever you like. Again, make sure you update the URL to I would say thank you page and whatever the course name is just so you can easily identify it and make sure you hit save. So you can edit the page from here and again just like you do with system.io it's drag and drop you can write a nice little message completely customize it and brand it and make it your own. Make sure you always hit save and if you need to view it you can click this little icon up here. So we're going to exit out of here so, so far you have created your course, which is amazing. It's already inside system.io and you've created a sales page and a thank you page. Now, once somebody goes through your ordering process, system.io will send like an automatic email to the user instructing them on how to set up their login to get to your course. So you don't have to do anything. The very last step to make sure that that does happen is you need to come over to uh, your courses you go courses underneath products and you go to your course name and then you go to settings and you just make sure that all the boxes are ticked I just like to make sure that this is all done and then you select course name and you would go sales page and then that just hooks everything up after that you are 100% ready to go live with your course and you can promote it and go any way that you like so to make sure that your course is live, you just need to come back to courses and you'll see that the status is inactive at the moment and we want to make that active. So you hit active and you go confirm and then you can see that the status is green, which means you are ready to go. So if you enjoyed my content today, please like the video, make sure you subscribe, even leave a comment below to let me know that you are loving this content so I can create more for you.